Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a cruelty free YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content. And today it is time for a new shroud video because this is my shroud week. So I am using all my palettes I have from shroud and now I'm finally going to use It's Freaking Bats by Betty Jean and Shroud. So this is their first collab palette and I just love this. I know Betty Jean, <laughs> she is such a grungy cool person and she does amazing looks. And this color story is just and so freaking good. So I'm going to do a look with this today and uh, I did swatch and this shade zero looked freaking amazing so I'm mostly going to use that today. So I think we just hop into this. So as I said I think this is going to be such an easy look and I always feel like I have to defend myself with that. I don't know why but I do not need to do that. So I am going to take Spooky this one and have it in my crease. And then I think I just want to slap on <laughs> serum like my whole lid. I have some thoughts that maybe I'm going to take Grim on my outer corner. I don't know yet. But I will start with Spooky first. And I remember when <laughs> Shroud was like teasing that they were going to do a collab palette with someone. I was like, it must be Betty Jean. I don't know a more perfect person to do a collab palette with Shroud than Betty Jean because I think they have really like similar styles and I know that she love Shroud. So I was so happy and I was like, I did know right from the start that I was going to buy this palette. And I have waited for it for so long. I think now when this video comes out, I think they are finally done with all the pre-orders. And I think the Trout is opening up their website soon. They've been closed just to like catch up <laughs> with everything. So if you have been eyeing Shroud soon is the time okay i i like this color this is not typically tip, typically this is maybe not a color that i go for super often but and as you see i have my eyebrows on because i'm filming after work and i didn't take away my eyebrows and i'm not super thrilled about this mm. I think it's so much easier. It feels like my eyebrows are in the way when I'm applying makeup. I don't know why I think like that, but I do. Okay, so for my lid, I have decided that I want to take a grim just out here to deepen it down a little bit and then take zero on the rest of my lid. I have no idea if this will look good or not, but it's only one way to find out and it's trying it. So I start with Grim, the dark one, and just put it out here. This is so... It's the same thing with this palette as that I told when I did my Arcana look. The video before this, like, their shimmers are just amazing. They are so opaque and so, so easy to work with. I think I just wanted it like this. I really hope this would go good with Zero. I have no idea. And now it's time for Zero. And uh, when I swatch this... Okay, I'm just going in with Grim a little bit more up here. When I swatched Zero... I was blown away. So I hope this brush is good for this sh sh shadow. And now we will see. Yeah. 
it does look amazing on the eye. And I think it will look so good over this darker shade. And you know what? It does. This is such a cool shade. Really, really awesome. Just going in with this again, a little bit over this one. And then I go back in with the lighter shade. I think this might be my favorite look for this week might just want to go in a little bit with grim this might be stupid choice just like a little bit over here but it's not I hope that you can see what I'm seeing I'm so bad at this and I'm already planning to take a really deep red lip to this one I think that will look amazing I think when I did my first impression with this palette I think I might have taken I had a deep red from lime crime if I'm not mistaken so I'm not going to take that but I'm going to take something that is really similar The thing that I really love about these shades, they are so blendable, like up in the crease. I love shimmers that you can blend up in your crease. I am super pleased with this look so far. So I will take away the fallouts, fix my base, and then I come back and we do something to the lower lash right now. I have no idea and I can't stop staring at this eye look. So I will fix my base and then I come back. On my lower lash I want to go in with the Spooky that I had in my crease and if I want to dip it down, I haven't decided that yet, I think I will go in with Adam's. I think though it would be possible to take like Grim but I don't think I want to. So I'm going to start with Spooky, the one that I had in my crease. Tap it off. I don't want anything blue on my face. So I will go in with Adams to deepen down. Deepen down, connect with my lid a little bit. Just take it out there. I actually think that I will go in with Zero, this one, and just try to put it in my inner corner and I will take the brush tap it and then just I am so pleased with this look so I'm going to put something in my wash line use a red dark lipstick I think I know which one I will take put on my mascara and then I'm finished so I had someone here that didn't want to be alone Mm, hey Ines. So this is Ines, our little rag doll. Can you, can you be on your own? Maybe, maybe not. Never know with her. Uh, okay. So for my wash line I used this old one from NYX. This is one of their faux whites in white smoke. And surprisingly, surprise, to no one's surprise, I took Unspoken from Nabla on my lips. This is one of my absolute favorite lip colors and I love this look. I think it turned out so so good and this shade that I have mostly on my lid okay so apparently this is how <laughs> i'm not going to end my own video because ines is apparently doing that for me um okay <laughs> 
So the lid shade I have on on most of my lid, Zero. It's an amazing shade and I really love how this one is uh, together with that. I think it looks so freaking good. Can't stop staring at myself. I love this look. So this is my It's Freaking Bats look. This is the reason why she usually isn't allowed in here. So I think Betty Jean and Sean did an amazing job with this palette and I know kind of bias over here. That's just how it is. So this is my look with the It's Freaking Bats palette and I really like it. I have decided that I'm going to do a palette bingo with all the palettes. Um, so I'm going to do a palette bingo with all their four palettes. And I might, I will see which colors I get if I want to take one of their single shimmer shades. I have these 11 if I want to take some of this, these in the palping look. I don't know yet, <laughs> we will see, but it's coming at least one more video when I'm doing a palette bingo with all the four palettes from Shroud. So I hope that you are looking forward to this. I hope you really like this look. I am also going to do in that palette bingo video. That is my neighbor's car. I'm also going to do a review on all the palettes as I did when I did my Ace Brute week. So I don't want to talk too much about the palette in this video. It's freaking bad, but... So I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!